Welcome back to another video, everyone. If you told me your favorite fighting game was Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, I would laugh at you. If you told me your favorite fighting game was PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale, I would laugh at you. If you told me your favorite fighting game was Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl, I would laugh at you, and then I would proceed to inform you about Cartoon Network Punch Time Explosion. Just kidding, I haven't even played this yet, but I saw this a couple months ago and I thought, hold on a sec, when did this come out? When was, when, since when has this existed? Because this is a 360 game, which I've pretty much had since near enough its launch, when my dad bought one. It has a bunch of recognizable characters in it. I mean, if you just take a look at the bottom there, it says Johnny Bravo, Ben 10, The Powerpuff Girls, Samurai Jack, Chowder, Flapjack, Codename Kids Next Door, Billy and Mandy. And of course there's more because you can see them on the front cover. I mean, if I knew this was a thing when it came out, it probably would have been one of my most played 360 games. I say probably because while the idea sounds great and the character roster looks perfect to me, I don't know how it plays yet and I don't know what the actual game itself is like. So we're gonna go check that out now. Let's whip out the headphones that everyone says look way too big on me and I would have to agree. Press any button. All right, let's press the power off button. All right, we've got story mode, we've got a battle mode. We'll just go on here for now. All right, let's see who's in this game then. So it looks like everyone's unlocked. Oh no, they're not actually. No, you can see who's in the game, but you can't play as everyone. What's this character's name again? Is it Mac? I know they're from Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, but I'm probably gonna have to go with Billy and Mandy right now. Got Vilgax over there from Ben 10. I'm not too familiar with Ben 10 after the classic show. You know, the very first iteration of Ben 10. Chowder looks horrifying in this more realistic setting. In fact, speaking of classic Ben 10, it seems like he's a playable character over there. Fight! Now, it is a fighting game, so at the end of the day, I think we can generally just mash A. Right, why is jump? Oh. Why is jump? But I'm gonna just stick to pressing A. Oh, stage is collapsing. Hold on, uh, can we check the controls? I just wanna see all the things that I can do. Uh, so we've got, okay, shield is RB, grab pickup is B. Right, so that's how I did, okay. Whoa, whoa! I do think it's weird how Billy and Mandy, in a way, seem attached. Like, their movements are very, you know, just in sync, and it seems like they're just one being. There are, that's how you charge up attacks then, okay. Like that. Oh, we've had this stored up the whole time. I haven't even used it. That's probably not even going to hit. Oh. Is this like the final smash or whatever? I just wasted that because I did it while he was uh, not even close. Oh, no, it looks like we've gone Super Saiyan, actually. If you look at Mandy's hair and the yellow aura. I, I think I expected a little less than that. You know what, let's go with Ben 10. I want to see if he can use his Omnitrix and like, I don't know, turn into a diamond head or something. Ben 10 versus number one. Let's go with that. Oh, I think we just did exactly what I was uh, hoping you could do. I think it's just part of his normal attack. This He's kicking my butt right now. Whoa! Okay, well, there's one point to him. Can you... Give me a chance to get back up, please. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Yes, there we go. There we go. Final smash. Oh, what's his name? What's that? Um. Humongousaw? I'm pretty sure it's Humongousaw. I didn't watch too much Ben 10 after the first one, but it's really coming down to the last... Um, the last point now. <gasps> Shit! I know that didn't feel good because it looked Wait, did I win? Wow. That started off bad, but we ended up clutching it. I'm pretty sure this is on easy mode as well, which is hilarious, but anyway, we're gonna play story mode. I wanna try and unlock a character. I don't know how long it will take, how many games I have to play, but I'll give it a shot either way. Okay. I thought it'd be just going up against opponents. I mean, obviously that is what it is, but I mean just like one singular character and then you unlock them afterwards or something. Congratulations on showing the other person how much better you are. That could be a meme. The fact that I can just continue to summon Humongousaur just like over and over again is beautiful. And that does confirm that his name is Humongousaur. So it looks like story mode is just like, you know, progressing through a world 
killing enemies, regular enemies, and then fighting like a, a boss, I guess you could say. Just one of the playable characters and then you can unlock them. Oh look, it's Vilgax. Are we going to have a boss fight? Hello there. Okay, everyone met each other now. Oh, he's got a health bar. We have to protect him. Oh, it's an escort mission. All right. Obviously, if I was playing on a harder mode, I think they'd be using their shields a lot more often and block, you know, preventing me from doing the attack. But for now, I'm going to keep using it. We'll find out later when I play hard mode. Unlocked multiplayer level. Did I unlock a character? No. Right, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna play much more story mode because I only did it to see if I could unlock any characters, but it looks like that's gonna take a while. Oh, here we go. I'm not gonna lie. Part of me does feel like actually playing through the story mode in my free time. And that is me gone. There we go. Wow, you're tough. You know what? I might start maining Chowder because his gameplay style reminds me a lot like Kirby. Just sucks in the enemy, spits them back out. In fact, let's go on difficulty. We're going to put this on hard. I'm going to go Chowder versus Buttercup. This is hard mode now, boys. I am not built for this. I am not built for this at all. Come on. Whoa. Okay, well there's a point loss for me. I ain't recovering from that. There we go. There we go. Nice. Not not nice. Not nice. Okay, final smash. Oh, she did it before me. I thought that was me who activated that, but nope. Oh, nice. Okay, that's good. Oh, and it's a wrap. It's a wrap. I mean, I only just started playing this game. The fact that I got one point on hard mode, not bad. Well, that is going to wrap up my initial impressions of Cartoon Network Punch Time Explosion. Maybe one day I will go through the entire story mode, unlock all the characters, and then do a full-length review of the game. But you know what, though? I will say that is a lot more impressive than I thought it would be. The game is definitely good enough to the point where I could see myself being addicted to this as a kid. But that being said, let me know down below if you've ever played this game. Hope you all enjoyed. Definitely subscribe if you're new here, and I'll see you all in my next video. Thank you.